I just don't see how the fuck he can sit in my face and text other niggas in front of me after everything I done did. I'm nervous too. <laughs> Good afternoon to you all. I pray that you're feeling blessed and highly favored on today. Getting right into things. On today we have a a simp on the line. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to find a better word to put it as, man. But uh, yeah, we got a young simp on the on the menu today, man. And um, this is something that happens to a lot of gentlemen. And the only reason that I chose to point this out today because I felt that there was a lot to be gleaned from this uh, particular clip. Now, first of all, you're going to see in here that the arrangement that he puts together for this young lady is is simply astonishing you know uh, i can only imagine if i was to do this for any woman that i've dealt with man they probably would be floored you know it was simply beautiful aesthetically beautiful that you know what he put together for this young woman but i want you to see how he was met upon doing all this for this young lady in return she was ungrateful and she ends up telling him that I rock with these other men more than I rock with you. After him doing all of this, he still wasn't able to gain the respect of this woman. This is something that I teach about all the time. And if you go through our, my channel, I have a list of videos on uh, garnering the respect of women, how women treat you when they no longer respect you, um, how to avoid being a clown. And this, in this particular instance, he's one of the primary gentlemen that I, I typically speak on, uh, one that is considered to be a clown by the woman. No matter all of this money that was spent, it still was not enough to garner the respect of this woman. And it's uh, a lot of men will never understand this. And a lot of men with that DJ academics, band man, Kevo mentality will never understand why they are being treated like this when they are spending all of this money on a woman. Now, uh, with that, let me go ahead and get into the clip and then we're gonna double back on the outro and I'm gonna go ahead and tie that thing on up. Oh, All right, I just finished setting up this Valentine's shit for my shorty. I don't know how it's gonna look to y'all. I think it looks good. I'm gonna give y'all like a little walkthrough, like a, a, what the, what, what like. <laughs> I'm nervous too. <laughs> hey, I the rip, man. But I, I like to let the clip play through, man. But. But it just sounded like a homosexual on him, man. He sounded soft as hell. He go, oh my god, I'm so, I'm so nervous. I, I don't know, uh, you know. Oh my god, I'm just so nervous whether she's gonna like it or not, man. That's how women talk, dog. It's already evident to me off of the rip how you conducting yourself on this little vlog. Why this woman does not respect you? It is evident, boy. You is not carrying yourself like a man at all. <sighs> Let's continue, man. What she'd be seeing if she was to walk in I just don't see how the fuck he can sit in my face and text other niggas in front of me after everything I done did for you. Because I fuck with them more than I fuck with you. And there you have it. So what just transpired here, um, a young man put in um, a lot of time, a lot of planning into making this woman feel special. And then sh shortly after, in the next scene, we see that she is texting other men right in his face. And she simply stated, because I with them more than I with you, period. And, you know, and I know that they, that was dumbfounding to this woman. And this actually went viral because a lot of men go through this same um the same situation to where you're buying all of these things for women you're putting in time trying to make them feel special you're flying them out you're spending a ton of money on them and they still have no respect for you at all they're still going back and throwing this thing or texting other individuals who can just come through and not do any of the things that you just did and they still get the time and attention of this woman and it's dumbfounding to you. It's confusing to your mental how this can transpire, how this can happen. She doesn't respect you like that, and she simply doesn't like you like that. You can give a woman the world, and she still will not like you like that. Another thing, 
typically uh, women know who they are dealing with I like to use the example of the movie a pretty woman if it's an old movie with Julia Roberts and Richard Gere in it but when he first ran across Julia Roberts she was a just a like a two dollar prostitute on the street not making any money at all she was not a high value hoe at all she came down uh, she she didn't even know what to charge the man. She was talking about a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, some little cheap ass shit. By the time he was done whining and dining her, and this only took a week for this to transpire. By the time he was done whining and dining, well, he upped the for one he upped the price on her. She talking about two hundred fifty dollars, some little bullshit. He talking about well, what if I give you two three racks? You know what I'm saying, something like that. She. She don't know how to respond. She she's not aware of her value at all. So by the she went from from this to by the time he was done, he wanted to go ahead and set her up with a with a crib, car, take care of her. So when and whenever he came back around, he could fuck with her. This is a way better deal than what she had when she first met. She couldn't even pay her bills, none of this type of stuff. But by the time he was done. She told this man there was not enough for her that, no, I don't want none of what you talking about. I want a knight in shining armor to come rescue me and save me. If you not, if I can't have all of it, then I don't want it at all. You treat me like a prostitute. And that's not good enough for me. This, that, and the third. The tables turned that quickly. Within one week of him winding and dining this woman and treating her like she was a queen, putting her on the pedestal, it went from her uh, giving her all of this, uh, all of herself to this man for two hundred dollars. To no, you cannot have me. I'm no longer, I'm no longer a prostitute. Um, this, that, and the third. I, I'm better than that. You're not gonna just set me up and give me a car and a crib and this, that, and the third and all this money. No, who you think you is? No, I need, I want all of you. I'm, I want to be your woman. If, if we gonna do this, we gonna do this thing right. She went from that to giving out instructions to this trick. Now. Why do I give that example? I give that example because I'm sure with this particular relationship, it was the same. And I see this happen time and time again with men who attempt to buy women. You have no type of leadership skills. You have no type of ism about yourself. But you feel like purchasing things is going to wow and astonish this woman. But what's going to happen is you're going to have to go to more and more extravagant limps to impress this woman. Why? Because she doesn't like you or value you as a man you are not it so my recommendation to all you brothers out here who are going through the same thing that this young man is going through find you another woman you know remove your feelings from this situation and go find you another woman who money wows who hasn't had these type of experiences because that is the only way that you're going to win a young man talking all feminine like this <laughs> oh my god oh i'm so i'm so scared all this type of shit but just go find you another woman. All this tricking and all this money that you spending, another woman will be glad to have this. You know, love to uh, show her friends and tell her friends that she got flew out and that uh, a man spent all this, a gentleman spent all this money on her, this, that, and the third. That's my recommendation to all y'all on today. I always like going to this more and more and more because this is one of my favorite topics to speak on. And I see so much of it going on in today's society. But we're going to leave it there for now so the video won't be too long. But blessings to everyone under the sound of my voice. I definitely hope that you, uh, you stay blessed and highly favored. And of course, until the next time, certainly take care. Thank <laughs> you.